Spring Public School. And this is how we 3D print. Today we are going to show you the steps that we go through to produce our amazing 3D printing. We are also going to hear from some of our staff and students at our school about how 3D printing can revolutionise our lives. First we will hear from Megan Anderson from the digital support team about the STEM T4L Learning Library. The STEM T4L Learning Library is a great place for you to find your how-to videos for all of your STEM T4L kits. Your teachers will love the classroom resources and learning challenges as well. Just go to t4l.link slash STEM and search for the 3D printing kit. You'll find the YouTube playlists, support guides, as well as teaching and learning resources and super engaging student-focused learning challenges. Thanks, Megan. Now we'll hear from staff and students about how 3D printers have been an amazing addition to our school. Having the ability to access different types of technology through STEM T4L has been extremely beneficial to our school. Being able to loan 360 cameras, robotics, VR headsets and 3D printers has allowed our students to show their knowledge in creative, fun and engaging ways. Allowing students the opportunity to have real life hands-on exposure to a range of technology and equipment has been an invaluable experience. The STEM T4L project is an outstanding initiative giving all schools, even in regional areas, a wonderful opportunity to access the latest technology. It has given students at Mulberry Public School the opportunity to demonstrate their creativity, problem solving, cooperation and teamwork as they become digital citizens. To complete our 3D printing, we need to think about our final product and design. But why? Design thinking solves real problems for real people. You really need to have empathy for the audience you're designing for. Try out different things, make improvements and get feedback. It makes it super engaging experience for kids and it gives them the opportunity to develop skills vital for future jobs such as problem solving, creativity and collaboration. We then use Tinkercad to create our dream design, dragging shapes into the platform, ensuring our projects are the correct size and shape. export our magnificent models as an STL or OBJ file. Now it's time to slice and dice! To slice our designs, we need to use flash print. Slicing our creations is important because it informs the 3D printer of all the layers in the project, as well as ensuring that the project is the right size. Flash print is also important because it is at this stage where we need to place some support so our designs are stable and do not collapse. And transfer to a USB so that it can be printed. First insert the USB into the 3D printer. Select your design as shown on the screen. Now the magic happens. 